Testament Against the World, The Lord's Rebuke, Abasement, July 26, 2011, from the Lord, our God and Savior, a letter given to Jason Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord of hosts, to all the sons and daughters of this, the last generation of men, you have all inherited the error of your fathers. You have all together become like them. Behold, you have surpassed the sins of ancient Egypt when I poured out my wrath upon them. Your wickedness has increased beyond every tribe, people, and nation which has dwelled upon the earth. This generation is wicked beyond measure. Thus great wrath is stirred up, and my indignation has come to the full. My anger is fully aroused, and shall surely be poured out. A recompense for all nations. A recompense for all these churches of men who have spoken presumptuously in my name. A recompense for all these corrupt workers who have done falsely on my behalf. I have not sent you. And you, O peoples of the earth, I have seen how you perform every form of evil at your leisure. You cease not from reveling in that which I hate. Behold, you murder the innocent day and night, and plot evil against your neighbor. You stand up for the rights of those who commit abomination, and clap your hands as wickedness is celebrated openly in the streets. O oh, most perverse and abominable generation! Shall I not repay? Behold, my body is persecuted in every land, and my bride is murdered at the hands of idolaters. My people are bruised and beaten, my servants slandered and hated without cause. Therefore I am come down to take vengeance, to pour out wrath upon this people for all their wickedness. I shall impart recompense in full. For I am the Lord, he who stretched out the heavens and hung the earth upon nothing. I am he who created all these worlds, he who causes all things to be. I am he who formed man from the dust of the earth and gave him breath, and he became a living soul. Behold, I spoke all life into existence. Yes, I am he who called all things into existence, saying, Arise, and declare my glory. For all creation obeys the sound of my voice. Yea, the whole universe declares my glory, for I am he who commanded the stars to shine their light, and the galaxies to take their form. Behold, my voice reaches across the universe, and reverence is spread out before me, says the Lord. For I command the hills to bow down, and the mountains to be brought low. And it is so. Yea, the whole earth trembles when I pass by. For I am great in power, and my glory has no equal. Thus the fear of the Lord goes before me, and obedience follows after me, says the Lord. Yet you peoples of the earth have turned from me, and have rebelled against me days without end. Thus I call upon the sons of men, even all who dwell upon the earth, to repent, to turn from your wicked ways, to bring forth new works worthy of repentance. Oh, that justice would well up like water, and righteousness as an ever-flowing stream! Yet you will not listen, you refuse to hear, a wayward generation! Yes, even you, O churches of men, have run far from me, seeking always to be loosed from all accountability, as you build yourselves up in your own false glory, that you might receive praise and recognition from men. Behold, in your arrogance, you have taken it upon yourselves to preach my word from the pulpit, polluting it, as though my words were subject to you and your own private interpretation. O oh, most arrogant and deceived generation! How long must I suffer you? How long shall you attempt to rebuild Babylon and raise up Babel? For you have restored Sodom and revived Gomorrah from the dead. 
Surely the days of Noah have come in. Therefore, thus declares the Lord God, As surely as the sun sets and night follows, so shall the light of this world be taken. And as a closing door darkens a room, so shall I leave those who remain to all their darkened temples in which they sought to hide themselves. For I know the thoughts of the mind, and I have heard what their hearts have spoken in secret, saying, Let us hide from the God of Israel, and cast off his words sent to us. Let us persecute his messengers, and cast stones at his prophets, that we may remain at ease in our deceptions. For we shall never be made the fool, nor shall we let any of our words fall to the ground, nor shall we allow any of our works to burn in the day. Hush now, let us continue in secret, and let us hide the truth from the people concerning our error lest our congregation depart from us. For we shall continue to wear our pretense as a garment, and our false righteousness as a cloak, and we shall wear it well. Therefore, because you have brought forth such a great number of false accusations against my prophets, and have utterly rejected this word which I have spoken to this generation, and because you have endeavored to cover your intentions by pretense, and sway my people with many empty words and lofty speeches, and because you have lulled them to sleep by all your vain practices, so too shall I bring forth charges and declare all your wrongdoings before the people. Behold, I shall bring forth judgment against you, and my words shall strip you naked, for my power shall sway all people. And all will know, I am the Lord. Yet many shall fall asleep, says the Lord. Yes, I shall reveal all your secret parts, and you shall walk naked through the streets in that day, shamefully exposed. In that day, humiliation shall be your only garment, and death your only hiding place. Therefore, let repentance come forth from your lips, and righteous works flow from your hands as your feet seek to regain the line. Yet you continue to forsake the living God, and still you cast off my every decree in favor of your own way. You continue to corrupt my word and profane my commandments. Behold, you justify your sins in the name of grace and spit upon my glory every day. Thus you shall surely be made to pass through the fire for you have made yourselves fully worthy. Refinement in the day of the Lord. You are all as lukewarm water. Your churches are as stagnant pools which sour my stomach. Your doctrines are foul, an awful smell in my nostrils, and your traditions leave a bitter taste in my mouth. Thus I must spit you out. I shall surely vomit you from my mouth. Thus says the Lord, The folly of this people is great, for they have sought to raise themselves above me. They have no fear of God in their hearts. They mislead the penitent as they push the sincere of heart far from me. They hold fast to their own selfish desires and refuse to let go of even one of their false doctrines. And as a babe clings to its mother's breast, so also do these people amongst the churches of men cling to all their perverse traditions, of which I hate. At every turn they hide their faces from me, as they sink deeper and deeper into the mire of their fornications. Yet I remain faithful, and my word true, says the Lord. Therefore recompense has risen up, and the Lord's rebuke is sent down. And with strong discipline shall I feed them, and with swift judgment shall I fill their cups, for the day has surely come. Did you think I had not seen it, O sons and daughters of men? Nothing escapes my sight, nor do my eyes rest when the sun sets beneath the horizon. There is no hiding place from the knowledge of the Lord. And what is man? that he should liken himself to me, or the glory of man, that he should raise himself above me. Foolish people, godless generation, you do not know me at all. 
nor do you have any love for the truth, that you might really know me. You care not to learn my ways, lest you feel obligated to walk in them. Instead, you cast them off, yea, you hide them under false pretenses, claiming they have passed away. Ignorant and deceived generation, vain peoples, that which you have cast off has come to claim you, and you shall not escape, for your own words have ensnared you. Behold, that which you claim has entrapped you, and on account of all this filthy pretense are you held captive. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Churches of men, awaken from your slumber. Your service to me is in vain, for you have grown very tired, and with heavy laden eyes have you looked upon my people, closing your eyes to my word, as it really is, as anger builds within your hearts over that which I have sent to you. Behold, with false righteousness you judge others and push out the hand, and with great arrogance you cast my words asunder, as though you were above reproach. Yet I tell you, you have mistaken pride for wisdom, and much learning for understanding. Woe to you, says the Lord. Woe to the learned. Woe to every high-minded scoffer who is wise in his own eyes. Woe to every arrogant pastor and prideful preacher. Your abasement is coming and shall be very severe. Behold, with a shout and with a mighty trumpet blast, it comes very quickly. And though your ears do not hear, and your eyes do not see, that which I have declared shall surely come. And woe to those who are left. For in a moment, and on a day you do not expect, your heart shall be pierced, and your every false expectation struck through. For as the scythe cuts through the stalk, as the sweeping blow falls many plants at once, so shall the sharpness of realization cut to the heart of this people. And in that same moment, the loftiness of many shall be brought down. Behold, multitudes shall fall hard upon the ground, declares the Lord. <laughs>